Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little code question maximum product subarray. You are given integer array nums, and find the subarray that has the largest product and return the product. So let's see the example. So you are given 2, 3, minus 2, 4, and the output is 6. And because uh, 2 and 3, this subarray has the largest uh, product, 6. So that's why output is 6. So it's very um, uh, straightforward question. So let me uh, explain how to solve this question. Before I start my explanation, so let me introduce my channel. So I create uh, a lot of videos to prepare for technical interviews. I explain all details of all questions in the video, and you can get the code from GitHub for free. So please subscribe my channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. Thank you for your support. Okay, so let me explain with this example, two, three, four. And uh, this is an uh, all positive case. In that case, uh, it's easy, just uh, um, we multiply all numbers and just return. In this case, um, 2, and 2 multiply 2, 3, and 6, and uh, multiply 4, and 24. And then we should return 24 in this case. That's easy. But look at uh, um, example 1. We have like, a negative number, so there is a possibility that we have to calculate a negative number. In that case, um, if we calculate from beginning to last, so it's like a minus two and then six, oops, six, and then um, minus 24. So in this case, uh, six is uh, like a largest product, but look at the, these two numbers. If we multiply like a minus 3, multiply minus 4, so we get uh, 12. So in this case, uh, actually uh, 12 is uh, greater than 6, so we should return 12. So how can we find uh, uh, 12 uh, in the, uh, this uh, negative case? To solve this question, uh, we should keep track of uh, minimum case and the maximum case for each numbers. So let's say we find 2 minus 2. So maximum number should be minus 2, and the minimum number also should be minus 2. And then move next, and we find a negative 3. So maximum number should be 6, minimum number should be uh, minus uh, 3, right? And then uh, move next, um, we find a negative 4. So um, in this case, maximum number should be be uh, minus 4 multiply minus 3 and 12 and then minimum number should be minus 4 multiply 6 and minus 24 and then um, there's no number so we should return uh, 12 in this case yeah so that is our basic idea to solve this question so with that being said let's get into the code Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, initialize the result variable with max number of input array nums. The reason why I initialize the max number of input array is that um, imagine uh, like uh, we get uh, only one number and uh, that number is minus 10. In that case, minus 10 is a max product. So if we initialized uh, like uh, with zero, uh, it doesn't work for this question. So that's why. And then current max equal current mean equal uh, equal one. So um, one is a neutral value, so it doesn't affect any numbers. And then start looping for n in nums. And then first of all, um, Okay, so first of all, uh, I calculate some um, uh, current max. Max equal, so we compare like uh, three values, like uh, current max equal max, current max multiply n, and uh, current mean multiply n, and then n itself. And uh, Actually, we almost do the same thing for current mean. So, and then uh, we should change here mean, and then same thing. But uh, problem is that uh, we want to 
uh, use like a same value, like a current max multiply n, and that uh, we do the same thing here, current max multiply n. But uh, in this case, first of all, we calculate the current max. So this current max value and uh, this current max value might be different, uh, depends on uh, this evaluation, right? Because uh, uh, we update current max here, so uh, this current max and this current max might be different. So we want to use the uh, same value here. So how can we do that? So it's simple. Uh, first of all, we calculate the um, current max multiply n first. So let's say uh, we create uh, like a temp variable equal uh, current max multiply n here, and then um, change here like a temp, and then temp. Yeah, so that we can uh, use uh, like a same value here. Yeah, so then after that, uh, uh, not return <laughs> result variable um, equal max compare current max um, current result and then current max then after that just return result variable yeah so that's it so let me submit it yeah looks good and the uh, time complexity of this solution should be uh, order of n and the uh, space complexity is uh, O1. Uh, we don't use extra data structure in the program. So that's all I have for you today. So please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. I'll see you in the next question.